Hey, 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 how are you? I hope that you are having a super smiley, sensational day. So in case you don't know me, it's Kick-Ass Kylie. G'day. I am the crazy fun mum from Whit Sundays Australia. And this video is step six in my social media success system. That's a lot of S's. In my social media success system to help you to be able to scale your business online without being salesy or spammy. So in this step, step number six, I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite online tools so that you can leverage your time, shine like a pro online and grow your business with these incredible tools. So if you were here, say g'day, smash the heart button. Let me know if you are catching me live or if you're watching the replay. And of course, let me know where in the world you're watching from. Now, if you have some favorite online tools, please share them with me as well, because, oh my goodness, I was actually looking at my notes because I created this online course. Oh gosh, a few years ago now, actually a lot of years ago. Um, I originally created this course to actually help network marketers to be able to build their business online. Because I used to have people reaching out to me all the time saying, how are you doing this? How's all your stuff look so good? And even just going through, I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many more tools now that we use. But anyway, I'm going to go through, um, before I actually refer to my notes, though, I'm going to share a couple of new ones that are my absolute favorite. And uh, of course, would love for you to share in the comments what online tools you love to be able to shine online and leverage your time as well. So first and foremost, when it comes to scaling your business online, you know, you can't sell the dream if you're looking like a nightmare. So you need some things to help boost your appearance, but without going to the extreme of being perfect, polished and, you know, professional, you still want to keep it real and raw and authentic and actually show up as your true authentic self. But there's some time management and productivity tools that I'm going to share with you. I'm also going to share some, but my favorite photo editing app, I'm just going through, um, and some places that you can outsource things as well. So first and foremost, I think the online tool that's on everybody's lips right now is ChatGPT. And that is amazing for so many things. Now I could spend some time on that, but I'm actually going to pop in the comments my beautiful, amazing friend, Jeffrey Ross. He is the chat GPT expert, and he has got so many free online challenges and videos and resources, and he actually runs a chat GPT course. And, oh, my goodness, you can literally use AI now for so many things. But the one thing that AI doesn't have is it doesn't have a heart, and it can't actually replace you, right? Right. So there's a lot of things that you can use it for to you know, help you nail your niche, to create content, to write out Facebook live overviews for you. So many things. I mean, look, I've been doing this for years. Really, it can replace me um, when it comes to online marketing and copywriting. So it's a pretty good tool and it will literally save you so much time. But Jeff is the chat GPT expert. So when it comes to that, I'll leave it with him. Now, the second tool that I want to share with you is the tool that I'm actually using right now on that Zoom. So I do have a paid Zoom account because I actually do online webinars and and meetings and so forth all the time. It's how I actually run my online travel business. But it's also a really great way for you to be able to do Facebook Live. So I literally open up Zoom first, just Z-O-O-M. And I don't know if you can go live from a free Zoom account. You can have a free Zoom account. But pretty much anyone who's building an online business these days will have Zoom. And when you go to Zoom, you can then live stream to Facebook, which is what I'm doing right now. Now, I love Zoom because there's a whole heap of features that makes it so much easier to be able to share your screen and, um, you know, record and and all the things. So I love it. Um, I use Zoom every single day in my business. So highly recommend that. So chat GPT and Zoom. My next favorite tool that I use all the time is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. So if you go to canva.com, it's a graphic design tool. So if you want to create social graphics, if you want to create like your cover banners, things like that, um, any um, 
image that you want to add text or do some graphic design, Canva is the program. Now, you can start with a free version. I have the paid version or the pro version. Again, it's not a lot. I think it's like $10 a month or something like that. I've been on it for, I think, about 16, 17, 18 years now, a long time. Um, it is a fantastic tool. You can also upload all of your, your branding colors if you've got specific colors that you use. And, you know, it, you can basically do anything. There's templates for everything. So it is a really great time saver um, and, and it makes you look like a design a designer that, you know, you paid a graphic designer a lot of money to create those designs. So that's another one of my favorites. Another one. Now, I'm not about having highly edited photos, but sometimes you do want to edit them. Maybe the lighting's not right or, you know, whatever it is. I like to just do a really small, like minor edit. I usually just press the auto tool and you can set the percentage of how much you want to be Photoshopped to, to you know, normal. 80% of my photos, I don't edit. I usually submit, I usually put most of mine just as they are. But there is a really great app. It's called Beauty Plus. So Beauty, B-E-A-U-T-Y, Beauty Plus. Um, it's like a pink background with a, a little camera that's like a rainbow. Um, I've actually only got the free version. When I was using it all the time, I was using the paid version. Um, but I've actually gone back to the free version now. So I find it's a really good photo editing app. But again, don't overdo it. You know, all in moderation. Now, another really great app that I love to be able to, um, to use, and this is really an outsourcing tool. So you know how sometimes you just kind of haven't got time to do all the things? Well, I love to outsource to an app called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. Now, Fiverr, when it was originally created, everything was literally $5. So if you're a freelancer, you can set up a freelancer account and let's just say you want to do um, the, the Canva, you want to do, um, banners on people's Facebook. So maybe you're going to do like a, a Facebook branding kit with a branded profile image, a branded, um, um, banner cover photo, um, whatever you want to create. You could literally do those for, well, you don't have to do it for $5. It could be $10. You can have upsells in there, in there as well. And you just go into Canva and you just do it on there. So it will take you no time, but for someone who's not tech savvy or doesn't have time, you can send anything there. You can get videos edited, photos edited, um, graphic design stuff done. Like there's so much you can do. Have things transcribed from like audio. If you send them a video and you want a transcript, they do all sorts of things. So Fiverr um, is another really great site. And I look, I use it on and off. Sometimes I use it a lot. And it's just really good because it's just you pay per job so you don't actually have to hire a VA. Now, the next um, thing I want to share with you is video editing tools. Now, of course, if you're on TikTok, a lot of those you can just upload and there's tools in there. But personally for videos from my phone, I love to use Video Show. And it's a really great app. It allows you to edit things right from your phone. I find that it's really simple to use. I have the paid version. Um, I can't remember. I think it was like maybe 30 bucks for the whole year. So Video Show is a really, really cool app. I'm just scrolling through my notes here. So let's now come to organizational tools. So I use Google Docs, uh, not Google Docs, uh, Gmail, and I have everything linked through all of, well, I use the whole Gmail suite, but particularly Google Calendar, um, it just makes it so easy. And if you've got a team, you can actually create a public Google Calendar for a specific Gmail address, and you can share that with everybody who's on your team. So I find that's a really great way for everyone to know what's happening when to keep everything on track and for you to organize your time as well. Now, for people to book appointments with you. So if part of building your business online is to actually book appointments, then Calendly is my absolute favorite tool. So you can go to calendly.com. You can set up a free account. For a free account, you can only have one calendar type. But I used a free account for years. I do now have the paid version, which allows you to have multiple different um, appointment types. And what it does is it gives you the ability to share a link or automate that booking process, which again can save you so much time. 
Because sometimes if you want to book a, an appointment with someone, you're going back and forth like, are you available this time or that time? No, I'm not. Can you do this? And sometimes it can take you like weeks just to try and book an appointment. Whereas if you send someone your Calendly link, which is then synced to your Gmail calendar, they literally click the link and they can book in a time when you're available that um, that suits them. And it's just so easy. Now, for um, documents and storage of photos and things, I actually use Dropbox. I've used Dropbox for a gazillion years. So I have everything in Dropbox. I love then that everything is based in the cloud. So no matter where I am in the world, no matter what device I have, everything is linked to Dropbox. Um, Google Docs is also fantastic. And look, I think Google Docs, if I had the choice now and I was starting from scratch, I'd probably lean maybe just a teeny weeny bit towards Google Docs because it seems to be more well known. Um, they're both very similar. You know, it's it's kind of apples for apples. But personally, I've been just using Dropbox for so long, it would be a nightmare to change over now. So that's why I stick with Dropbox. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm sharing my favorite tool till last. <laughs> I've got a couple more and I, I want to share with you. So productivity tools. So through the day. Um, when I'm working on, you know, from home, my little tree house here in the wet Sundays from the on the computer, it's easy to be able to just lose track of time. Whereas if you set yourself a time frame for a specific task, it's amazing how much more productive you can be. Now, there's two different apps that I love. One of them is called the Seconds Interval Timer. It's like an orangey red background with a white S, Seconds. The other one that I love is called Focus Keeper. So Focus Keeper, um, you're actually racing the clock. So it allows you to be really productive. And if you're like me and you're you know, a little bit competitive, it's super cool. And basically, it's, it's based on the Pomodoro technique where you do a 25-minute work block and then you have a five minute break. Now, for me, I find that that's brilliant because I like turn the music on for 25 minutes, like I'm powering through getting stuff done. But then in that five minutes, like I'm down hanging out the washing, have a drink of water, put on a song and dance. Like I'm doing something and go to, you know, into the kitchen and wash the dishes or, you know, um, have a quick break and make a coffee or, you know, whatever. So, do do some exercise in that five minutes, play with the dog. So it's actually an incredible way for you to be so productive because then you can look at what are my tasks that I'm going to do in that 25 minute block. And then in my five minute break, what am I going to do that's fun that I'm going to move my body and allow me to reward myself. So maybe it's lying down and having a nap for five minutes, like a meditation for five minutes. or so just lying there and just having it, you know, some deep breaths. So it's pretty cool. Um, Okay, I also use voice memos. Now, that's in the iPhone. I'm not sure if that's in other phones as well, um, but it's brilliant. Like for me, gosh, I can type pretty fast, but I can speak a lot faster. So audio voice messages that you can do for yourself, especially if you are going to be using a PA that you want to have something like, let's just say that you've got a website, you've got a blog that you want to write, you can do that memo and send it off. Now, in saying that these days, Probably the, the tool that I use the absolute most is in um, Facebook Messenger now to actually, if I'm going to send a message, I can see I've got Mandy here at the top. So there's actually that little voice message button down the bottom. So if I click that, I'm actually now recording a voice message that I can then send and then literally click send. Now, from your computer, you can only send one minute voice memos. From your phone, I don't know what the record is, but I've sent some pretty long ones. <laughs> um, and I can be walking, I can be doing, so if I go for a walk, I can like be building my business, sending voice messages to a whole heap of people. Whereas if I'm trying to type, it's a lot slower. So all of these tools are ways that you can leverage your time, be more productive and shine online. Now, the other one that I love before I get to my favorite tool, which is coming up next, the other one that I absolutely love and adore is notes. So again, this is on an iPhone. And uh, if you go to my notes, like I literally have so many, these are all different files. So even today, when Kath and I went and smashed out a weight session at the gym, I've got my gym session planned in there with like all of the repetitions and weights. Um, 
if I see a social media post, so I saw a lady who um, she connected with me. I think she sent me a Facebook friend request today and she had a social media post on flight mode. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a good post. So I've literally copied her post in there, just says flight mode social post. And then I can then recreate that using that as a source of inspiration, but making it my own. I also share links in here. So if I see a post or um, like a sales page or a funnel and I go, wow, that's good or sponsored posts, um, you can message them to yourselves or you can copy the link and pop it into Messenger. I also plan some of my um, my posts in, in notes as well. So notes is just a great way that when you're on the go, you can collect those ideas, you can email them to people, you can email them to yourself. And I love for me in notes because I'm an Apple girl that everything everyone's synced. So I can access my notes from my phone, from my iPad or from my computer, which is super cool. Okay, are we getting some value? Have you heard, like, there's some new tools that you haven't heard of before. So I'm just going to review, make sure I've got them all before I share my favorite one with you. I've shared all of those. There's a couple that I used to have on here that I don't really use anymore. Oh, stock images. So another thing is if you want free stock images, a really great place. I used to spend a fortune on stock photos. Personally, I actually prefer to just use my own photos now. Um, that's why I take a gazillion photos. Um, and that's the other thing, buy yourself a really good phone. Like I have got the iPhone 13 Pro Max, two terabytes. That's so got so much memory. And just, I take so many photos to get the good shot. Um, but stock images, um, unsplash, unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H. So unsplash.com. They have got amazing free images that you can download for pretty much any project. Um, you can also access those images through Canva. Um, I've got the paid account, so I've got unlimited images. I think on the free account through Canva, you've got um, a limit. But again, Unsplash is a great source for you to be able to get those images. Okay, so my last one, my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite tool. And uh, Jeffrey Ross, if you're watching, he always laughs at me because I say, if this tool was a, a man, I would have married him. And that is Trello. Trello, T R E L L O. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool for mapping things out. It's a great project management tool, it's an organizational tool. You can have like all different, it's like a big, um, board and you can have different like notes all over it so instead of having like a, a whiteboard with writing and sticky notes all over it or a cork board this is an electronic version and you can invite people to join the board you can access it from anywhere that you have um, internet but you can also download the Trello app on your phone or your devices and then everything's linked you can tag people you can oh my gosh you literally can use Trello for everything now, I thought I might actually just share my um, Trello boards with you. I've got so many. <laughs> um, let me just do a super quick share of a couple of my boards. So this is a board that I'm working on at the moment. There's a bunch of people added to this board. Rapid Funnel is one of the, um, it's our app that we use for our travel business. And basically these are all different videos that we're creating as training videos that our team will be able to access. Now, if I just go back to Trello, you can and you can see the layout there. Um, I plan my holidays using Trello. I do my 90-day plans, my 30-day plans. I map out courses, like you name it, you can use this for pretty much everything. Um, if I do our Punta Cana Dream Trip, this is like a really good um, example. So you can upload photos. You can see here important info. So we've got like everyone's passports, airport lounge passes, all the things I had to do before my trip, the itinerary, step-by-step, -step, tours that we can do, communications and questions and all the things that we've done. So if we go here, for example, and we go to uh, layover accommodation in Miami, the tours. So if we click on there, inside of that little tab, Dun, dun, dun. you've then got the links and all of the information people can comment you can have checklists you can check them off like oh my goodness it is unlimited what you can do with Trello so 
if we have a look, um, for example, passports. So we all uploaded our passports, but look, I've got everyone's name that went on the trip and we check it off like a checklist when it's all done. So Trello is amazing. It's really good to map out your social content. And also when you do find those posts that you like, it's a great place that you can copy them across. And the same as the people that you're modeling. Like I say, always say pick five people who you absolutely love that you can model off and use that as inspiration for your own posts. So they are my favorite tools that I use to be able to leverage my time and look like a pro and shine online to scale my social media business. So I want to know, have you gotten value from this video? Like what was the most valuable thing? What did you learn? What did you love the most? And did you have any aha moments today? Now, if you know that this would be able to help someone, please tag them in the video. Please share it with them. My mission is to help as many people as I can to make social media simple because it is such an incredible tool. And the more I can help you to be able to make an impact and increase your income, then you know that's just going to help everybody in the world. It's going to make the world a better place. So tomorrow we are doing step seven in this social media success series. So tomorrow, I'm going to be going through the art of storytelling because facts tell, stories sell. And for you to be able to be a success on social media, you really need to learn the art of how to share stories in a really powerful and compelling way. So I'm so excited to be sharing that live tomorrow. And each day I'm going live for 21 days to share each of the the 21 key steps to success for you to be able to scale your business on social media without being salesy or spammy and adding massive value and creating the impact that you want to the people that you serve. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you got some value. I love online tools. And if you have some online tools that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comments so I can update my notes and uh, and check out any tools that you recommend as well. All right, guys, have an amazing day, evening, morning, night, wherever in the world you are. And my wish for you is that life is everything you've ever dreamed of multiplied by infinity because you, your family, your dreams and your goals are all absolutely worth it. I'll see you tomorrow for The Art of Storytelling. See you there. Bye.